get the extended security updates. Oh, yes. Okay. All right. Cool. Enrollment will be available on Windows 10 devices running 22H2 through a built-in tool available in settings for eligible devices. What is up, everybody? It's Adam with Tech, and today I'm here to show you exactly the steps you need to do in order to subscribe to the extended security updates and use the loophole that I was talking about. As a recap, the loophole that we're going to be doing is that we're going to be using a Microsoft account, but it's only going to be one profile on the system, but it's not going to be used. We're going to add in the Microsoft account. Uh... All right, hold on. <laughs> I don't want you all to see me type in my password. By enabling Windows Backup to sync the settings in the cloud, Windows can enroll at no additional cost. So an enrollment wizard will be available through the notifications in the settings, making it easy to enroll in ESU directly from your personal Windows 10 PC. Through the enrollment wizard, you'll be able to choose from three of the options. Use Windows Backup to sync your settings to the cloud at no additional cost. Use the search bar on Windows 10 to locate and open Windows Backup. Up. Back up this PC. This is the desktop. It doesn't really matter what gets backed up because it's backing up the info for this Microsoft account. It's going to back up the folders in the OneDrive, back up the apps. It's going to back up your settings. It's going to back up your credentials. It doesn't really matter what it backs up because this is a account that is not going to be synced or used ever again. It just has to be on your computer. You might have to log into it to get the updates after you enroll in the extended security updates program. That part, I don't know. We'll find that out after they actually start to enable it. So this will probably be video one of who knows how many that they're gonna make me create with this sort of stuff. It shouldn't even have a lot to back up because we're not using anything on this on this computer. But once this is finished, we'll look at what else there is to do, see if there's any more prompts. And then I will show you how to create a Microsoft account, or sorry, create another account on your computer that is not tied to Microsoft. And then you go to the updates on that account, get the extended security updates up, Yes. Okay. All right. Cool. So the Windows 10 support ends October 2025. Enroll in the extended security updates to help keep your device secure. Enroll now. Yes. Oh, that's so cool that it's showing up now. Enroll in extended security updates to stay protected. Support for Windows 10 ends on October 14th, 2025. Without security updates and technical support, your PC will be vulnerable to attacks and malware. It already is. Get extended security updates to keep your Windows 10 device safer. Enroll to receive critical security updates after support ends. That way you have more time to decide on your next PC worry-free. Next. And then you're eligible to enroll in extended security updates at no extra cost. So you've enrolled in the extended security updates through October 13th, 2026. And this PC is signed in with the Domtech burner at Outlook.com is enrolled to receive extended security updates and then done. So now technically we're gonna be receiving all the updates the next step in this video is gonna be showing you how to create another account on your computer that is gonna be a local account only. So easily enough, you're just on your desktop screen, you open up Windows, and you go to the settings down here. We're gonna prevent having to type anything. You're gonna to go to settings, and then you're gonna to go to accounts. This is where you can see your account. So we have the Dontech burner at outlook.com, and just have all the kind of stuff, situation stuff there. What we're gonna do is create another user by clicking here for families and other users and we're going to add someone else to this pc that allows people who are not a part of your family to use it's ignore the jargon the verbiage it's stupid and they're going to be like oh okay we're going to add you with a microsoft account wait a second i don't want to do that so down here after it says how will this person sign in i don't have this person's sign in information you click that and then it's going to be like oh okay and says, okay, well then create, if you don't have their information, we'll create an email address for them, why don't you? That's so stupid, Microsoft, oh my gosh. So you're gonna click down here, the second option that says add a user without a Microsoft account. And then this is where you're gonna create a local account. Traditionally, what I like to do is just call it owner as just a default. You can name it whatever you wanna name it, but I'd recommend that you name it something that you would know what it is. So for clarity's sake here, we're gonna do owner dash local so that way we know that it's a local account passwords i don't add passwords to these things because it doesn't matter you can add one if you want to now very important when you have this account though it's going to be a local account it's not going to be an administrative account it's going to be standard so you have to go back through here you have to click on the username the owner local that we just created then click change account type 
from there in this dialog box, instead of standard user, we're gonna click it and then change it to administrator. That's gonna give you the full rights as though you could do anything on the device because you wanna be able to do anything on the device. There are some reasons as to why you might use a standard account versus a administrative account, but I wouldn't recommend that at this point. So we just go ahead and close that. And then what we can do is we can sign out of the system. We're gonna click on our username up here. We're gonna click sign out. That's gonna log us out of the system and it will give us our two usernames on the computer. So we can see here that we have the Dontech, which has a pin, or we also have our other local account. We're gonna click on that, sign in, it's going to do the hi, welcome to Windows, here, change your settings, yada, yada, yada. Okay, so then same with everything. These are just settings you can kind of personalize. I'll be doing another video on how to really make it so that you're more private on a Windows 10 system later. So then as you can see, we're in the local account. We don't have anything, you know, with that. What we would be saying and checking out later is that if we are on the system and doing the updates, we should be able to get the extended security updates on this system. Thank you so much for watching this video on how to get Windows 10 extended security updates. Uh, if it made sense, let me know. If you have any further questions, let me know. I will do my best to answer them for you as well. And we will see what the future holds. But now I know at least this computer is gonna be getting free Windows 10 security updates until October, 2026. I do plan on doing the exact same process with a real Microsoft account on my PCs to get those security updates as necessary to make sure that we're secured and protected. Though I might do it on just one PC in the interim to make sure that we're completely safe because if something goes completely belly up, I don't want all my systems going down, you know what I mean? But that'll be where we're at for right now. So thank you again so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. And remember, the Don's got your back. How do we enroll? Either I'm just completely stupid or Microsoft is just burying this and hiding this information. Both can be true at the same time. Ah, uh, welcome to the Dontech where things go like this all of the time.